Good morning. Um, as you can see, this is my bed head. This is what I wake up and deal with. Um, I did eat breakfast. I did put on sunscreen. I washed my face. I put in contacts. And I'm going to show you how um, I've been doing my makeup recently. I also, I'm going to show you how I put in my extensions because I cut my hair like two months ago and I'm already missing my long hair. The thing is, I cut it because my hair was so dead. As you can see, my hair is a lot wavier on my hair is short. I'll do a 360. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna do my makeup. I'll put the like products I'm using like on the side because I'm gonna be talking. But you guys wanted like an update on like my piercing. And my piercing is healing very nicely. After I show you like my extensions and everything, like after I get ready, I'll show you how, like how I clean my piercing. Cause that's very important. Yeah, right now I'm using a concealer. Um, I used to use foundation. I always go back and forth about like if I want to use foundation or concealer. But I mean, as of recently, I kind of want to embrace my natural face. I've been feeling kind of insecure, but whatever. It blends in really nicely. And I think it matches me perfectly too. <laughs> it makes a lot of difference if I'm putting it all over my face versus if I'm just putting it where things are red, even though most of my face is red. I'm just using this brush to make sure like it blends. Benefit sent me some stuff which I was so excited about. Um, they sent me an eyebrow pencil and oh my gosh, like it is literally perfect. This is the Benefit Precisely My Brow. Yeah, they sent this to me but like, you know, they're not paying me to say this but I was so excited because I finally found a, a brow shade that works for me because I feel like black is just a little too harsh. Every eyebrow shade that's not black, it's like always brown and it just does not work. It's I put like brown on my black eyebrows. It's like, it looks so weird. They sent me the shade Soft Cool Black. So I've been using this. I also reshaped my eyebrows to make them a little straighter because I don't like arched eyebrows on me. Oh my God, my eyebrows grow back so fast. I swear, I literally plucked it like the other day. There's like already hair on my eyelids. I'm not an influencer or anything, but like when Benefit like sent me stuff, I was like, wow, that is so cool. Okay, I'll, I'll show you what they sent me. So they sent me this eyebrow pencil, has you know the pencil, spoolie, and they also sent me the uh, Benefit Gimme Brow Pencil, and this one's different. It has like a like an actual like pencil, and it's in the same shade, which is Soft Cool Black. So thanks, Benefit. Like, I didn't even tell them what shade I wanted. I think they just saw my Instagram and just like sent me this one, or I don't know. Like, I guess they just looked at my Instagram and was like, "Yep, that shade." But yeah, um, I also got the Benefit They're Real. And I love this mascara. I used it like years ago, but it was like too expensive. So I didn't like continue repurchasing it, but I really liked it. Whenever I used it, people were like, your eyelashes are really long. And this was in middle school. So like people didn't wear mascara too much. So they were like, are you wearing mascara? Like your eyes are, eyelashes are so long. And I was like, yeah, they're real. <laughs> oh my God, wait, they are real. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so people couldn't tell I was wearing mascara. They just thought my eyelashes were super long. So yeah. Damn. Good branding. And then they also got me the uh, Benefit Roller Lash. It's mostly about like the curl, um, which I don't really care about because my eyelashes like, my, my eyelashes curl pretty easily. So I didn't really care that it curled. I don't know, I'll, I'll try it out again. They also sent me a hula bronzer. Not sure if this will be too light. They also sent me a pen. Thanks. <laughs> I can be in college and I'm just like, yeah, like, I'm a micro-influencer. Like, what? Usually I would do like this intricate, like, do doyen? Doyen uh, makeup, which is like, you know, 
the eyeliner and then the eye eyeliner on the bottom and then like you know blue contacts and like glitter eyeshadow and i don't really you know i, I love that look but going for like a more youthful look and honestly i wore this makeup to the mall i wore this makeup with like my extensions and like a lot of people were staring at me including kids so i was like hmm, maybe i look good with this because here's the thing if a kid stares at you like that's how you know that like they like you i kind of just wing up my like i just wing it up like that oof that's a little too much but yeah because i don't want my eyes to look like you know tired or droopy so i kind of just like like wing it up like this because I'm gonna put mascara on and when you put mascara on on the bottom it could kind of make your eyes look like so yeah I just do that usually I draw on egg yolk style but when I want to look more natural I don't I just put on like glitter or shimmery eyeshadow so I do the shimmer part but I don't like put on the brown eyeshadow underneath I just like highlight that's it I already kind of have it like as you can kind of see there's like a little shadow here i kind of just use the glitter to accentuate it i've never ripped out my eyelashes like i don't know what people are doing to make their eyelashes rip out but as long as you have this little thing you know the rubber thing like why are they ripping out Oh god, that's a lot. <laughs> Am I seeing things? Or is that like really orange? I've never tried this before. Okay, I'm, I'm scared. I mean, that's cool. Actually, you know what? It looks good if you want to look tanner, actually. That makes sense. Yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, it's pretty good. I have two sets of hair extensions. If you just buy one, it was not, it's not gonna be thick enough to like look like a full head of hair. So I had to buy two of these. These are Vario, Vario. Um, I got them from Amazon. So yeah, I'll link it down below. So it's gonna be up to here. This is 16 inches. Look at that. Woo! Yep. <laughs>
talk about my piercing. So, yeah. Oh, it looks pretty cool with my long hair. Hey, hey, how you doing? <laughs> Look how cool that looks. It's like, hey. So I just put on this shirt and then I just kept these sweatpants on. I look like I look like I'm in a dance practice video. Um, 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 um. If you guys knew what, what dance that was, good, good for you. So yeah, I'm vibing with this outfit. Usually I would not be confident wearing this outfit, but I mean, you know, like this is like, like, hey, like, yeah, usually I would not wear an outfit like this, but like, hey, hey, like this gives me so much confidence. If you guys need some confidence, do it, fucking do it. And also like, it does not hurt anymore. Um, I'll tell you the story. I'll tell you about my piercing. I'm not gonna like zoom in because there are some weirdos out there. Actually, um, <laughs> I got my piercing maybe like two weeks ago and I've gotten about three DMs about my belly button already. Here's some things that people don't tell you about it, but right now it's like, it's very, very nice. So I got it two weeks ago. I can lie on my stomach now. I can sleep on my stomach. It's very comfortable. Um, I don't feel it when I touch it and when I clean it, it doesn't hurt. Um, yeah, it doesn't really hurt. I think a few days ago I was changing and like it, my, my hand kind of like went boop and it really hurt, but it was bearable. I didn't really care that much about it. After I got it pierced, which was really weird, but my brother's girlfriend also has a piercing. And so like we were changing, it was my birthday, the day after I got it pierced, it was my birthday. <laughs> so I was like trying to find a cute outfit and it was really, it was really weird because nobody tells you this because it's like, no one really thinks about it, but like, after you get your belly button pierced, like my ab muscles like did not engage. Like usually when I stand up, here I'll show you. Like usually when I stand up, like my abs are like engaging all the time. It's like not anything like conscious. I mean, they're just like, they're just like, you know, kind of engaging. Um, but when I got it pierced, like it just would not engage. So like my belly was like hanging out and that usually doesn't happen. It was really weird. It was like more like, my stomach was like a lot more swollen. Like, I think subconsciously, like my stomach like did not like engage anymore because I did not want to hurt the piercing, which is really weird because it was like very uncomfortable the first like few days I had it. It did not physically hurt, but like my body like uh, subconsciously like was not like, I did not want to like bend over to like, you know, grab things. I would kind of like, you know, instead of like bending over to grab things like this, I would be kind of like this like that <laughs> like the first day i had the piercing like it didn't really it didn't hurt at all like i was kind of just like oh cool like piercing but <laughs> like a few hours later i looked in the mirror i felt it was kind of sticky i looked in the mirror and there was like blood like all around my belly button and i was like oh, okay like that that's fun you know it didn't hurt but there was still blood even like moving the jewelry around it doesn't hurt and i'll literally show you how i spray it right now so like make sure your hands are clean but i'm lazy so you just like move it that just spray it and then spray it on the bottom hole that's what i do so yeah that's just how i clean it and i do that like three times a day and you do this other thing where like you put salt you mix salt with water and then you just like you have like a shot glass right and you just put it on your belly and then you just hold it there and it like suctions it and you just have to like hold it there for like five minutes and i've been doing that like almost every day i've kind of been forgetting but it's okay i'm gonna show you how i do my hair <laughs> If I was going out, um, I would do my hair like this. It looks so elegant, isn't that cute? Like, what? 
Like, can you even tell that I have scoliosis? No, you can't. Yeah. Like, can you even tell that like, my spine is literally crooked and that makes my whole abdomen crooked? No, you can't, because you just focus on this, right? Yeah, exactly. So yeah, go get the piercing. Do it, do it. Okay, that's it for today. I think my next video is probably gonna be a video on The Sims or Yandere Simulator, and I'm not quite sure which one yet. Watch out for that. My Instagram is Rin Serafina. My TikTok is Rin Serafina. Everything is Rin Serafina. Um, my link tree will be in my bio. So like all my socials are in my link tree. And yeah, I'll see you later.